realise that I am an overthinker. And I call myself an overthinker because that sounds way better than admitting to what I really have, which is anxiety. Because I realise that if you call yourself an overthinker, it makes you sound really efficient and thorough. But if you say, I've got anxiety, everyone's like, oh, should you be out without a carer? <laughs> and like, my whole family has it. I come from a very anxious family. Like, I would describe us as pessimistic optimists. <laughs> we believe the glass is half full, but we're worried someone's put bleach in it. <laughs> I just tend to worry about stuff like I worry about things and I don't know whether it's anxiety or whether it's really sensible fears like just show of hands does anybody else have a fear of your suitcase bursting open on the baggage carousel does anyone else oh man it horrifies me I travel quite a bit and every time that belt starts up I'm like is today the day my undies come out as a parade <laughs> I was at Sydney Airport the other day and I watched a tube of toothpaste go round by itself twice <laughs> I was so stressed out because I was like, either that person's suitcase has exploded or they don't realise that's just carry on. <laughs> Imagine them checking, I just want to check the Colgate in. You don't have to, I just want to check it in. Overthinking, I'm overthinking it. So uh, I don't know if anyone else does this. Um, just show of hands, who else checks the front loading washing machine for cats <laughs> before you put the washing on? Does anyone else? I mean, obviously not if you don't have cats. Like, no. <laughs> I'm not saying check to see if your washing machine's got you a present or something like, oh, what's it got me? A possum. Like, I'm not saying that. But I have two cats and they will get into anything. Like, it's like living with customs officers during a raid. Like, whatever you open, they are in it. Like, if you open a cupboard or a drawer or a sock or a pocket, anything, they are just in that thing. I made the mistake of leaving the door to the glassware cupboard open the other day. You have not known terror until you've had to try and help a cat reverse <laughs> out of a glassware cupboard when each one of its feet is in a different wine glass. <laughs> it is the closest I will ever come to feeling like a bomb disposal expert. <laughs> now, am I alone in this? I have a massive fear of moths. Does anyone else fear moths? I hate moths. I hate, I hate their fat palpating bodies. I hate that dust. They're like, yeah, have some dust. Have some dust. I hate that man. I hate it. I, I hate the, I hate the flutteriness of them. I think it stems from one night when I was reading by lamplight and a massive moth tried to force its way into my mouth. Like it was, it was huge. It was like the size of a hairy doll martyr, right? And I'm reading. It tries to fly into my mouth. I push it away. It just starts battering itself against my face. I'm pushing it away. It's battering itself against my face. I told that story last night in a show and an old man at the front goes, are you sure it was a moth, love? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, because I reckon if it was a cock, I would have noticed the guy it was attached to. <laughs> oh, someone's left the screen door open again. We've got these naked guys flying around the lights. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to get a bigger can of more tea. There's a massive redhead up there. That is... <laughs> Um, am I the only straight woman here, this is another anxiety I have, who drives a little bit worse if your husband is in the car? <laughs> Does anyone else do that? The guys are like, what are you talking about? And all the women are like, oh, fuck, yes, yes, oh, God. You don't know, but straight women are amazing drivers until the moment your ass hits the passenger seat. <laughs> and then you look at us with your little judgy eyes, don't you? <laughs> oh, I keep my hands at 10 to 2. Do you? Do you? Man, I, um, I, am I alone in the fear that your nipples could turn inside out? <laughs> to be honest, that actually, that is not one of my fears. But I learned, about, I learned about this thing that's called psychic panic. And apparently what happens is once you know that something is possible, it can happen to you. <laughs> like, you didn't know that was possible, but now you do. Now you know that's possible. You could be lying in bed tonight and just whoop, whoop. <laughs> sleep well tonight. <laughs> I was going to talk, talk about my son tonight, but I decided not to. I got anxious about it. I was like, I don't want to talk about my son because I know that when women comedians talk about their kids, people are like, oh, women comedians, they're always yap, 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 yapping about their children. But when you hear a guy comedian talk about his kids, everyone's like, oh, it's so cute. He knows their names. <laughs> I've said woman comedian because I hate the term female comedian. I, I, it just sounds like it's too much of an animal noise. There's like animal, like female comedian. It sounds like I should have just dropped a litter of puppies backstage before I came on. Like, I, the reason I really hate it is I most often hear it in this phrase. I usually hate female comedians, but you were quite funny. 
And I mean, I'm sure we've all heard it. I'm sure every performer tonight has heard that. And really, I should take it as a massive compliment that it is, because what they're really saying, it's usually a guy, what he's really saying is, you still made me laugh, even though I could barely hear you over the sound of your vagina. <laughs> I wonder what noise it's making for him. Like, <laughs> like is it just like a kind of... <laughs> is it like a man hater, a man hater, a man hater? Or is it like, is it more like, I'm having a lovely day? <laughs> um, I don't know why I've made it sound like an idiot. Uh, <laughs> although it has made some poor decisions. Um, <laughs> I, I wonder too, maybe it's just like this. Maybe it's just like a... Although, to be honest, that's probably uh, a much younger woman. Um, uh, you... <laughs>